<clears throat> I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but so when when we got these slabs, they looked fairly straight. I mean, they weren't perfect, but they looked fairly straight to the to the eye. Once they dry out a little bit, they tend to start cracking, do a little bit of warping. But on that end over there, I was only taking out about somewhere between an eighth and three sixteenths of an inch. And here, we are hogging out, oh, a little over half an inch. And so, I don't know. Let's see if I can get you guys lined up here. So can you guys see? This right here. I'll see if this doesn't help show. Whoops, wrong, wrong side. So, what is that? Five eighths, a little over five eighths of an inch. It ends up hogging out over here. And so, you take this from two and a quarter inches thick to one and a half inches thick, really, really quick. So if you look down, <clears throat> this entire thing, I know that this GoPro is not the greatest for showing perspective, but down there at that end, it's fairly thick. And so once we cut this end off, I'm gonna flatten this back, this back side completely. We'll end up cutting part of this off and we'll cut part of that off down there too because we've got a pretty good split as, as is this side. This side's got a pretty good split. I mean, big enough I can stick my pinky finger in. So we're going to actually turn these into some bar stool tops to match the bar. And so I'll come in, cut off what I need to so that we have the proper length. And um, then we'll flatten the, com the back completely, cut our 45s. And then I've got to try to mate up both <coughs> oh man all the dust in here <coughs> i gotta try to mate up both of the 45s to make a perfect 90 on the corner of a corner of a bit of a room where this is going to be their new bar so there's a lot that goes into it a lot of people don't think that there's as much work as there is but it can be a can be a pretty big job so that's the uh lesson on flattening i'm going to go back down there i'll continue to come down this way but i i my my table is not long enough for this piece so i'm gonna have to flatten this section later on down the line down there i'll get as much off as i can but if you notice let's see i'll take you with me if you notice, let's unplug this. So this whole side is is off. So this is gonna be the side that's exposed. So that side's not as critical, even though it's gonna be thinner. This side that's over here, right there, is probably still, yeah, so it's still two and a quarter inches thick it uh it will be the leading face so as long as we get this side flat and don't have to take a whole lot of out, uh material out of it it's um it'll be fine but i'm probably still gonna have to come down oh, let, me get my, let me get my sled over here let's see what the router bit says get you guys down there so i don't know what do we think I don't know if I can get anywhere near the bit itself. I'm gonna say probably a quarter of an inch. We're probably gonna take another quarter of an inch out. And so, I don't know if you guys saw the <laughs> the price and the measurements and everything on this slab, but this is very expensive sawdust because we pay for the entire slab and then we basically have to grind you know three quarters of an inch or better 
off of it. If we look here, now look how far away that is. So in perspective, that's probably half to three quarters of an inch. I left my ruler down there, so I'm not gonna go get it. But there's a lot on this on this edge. And so you can see this, I mean, look, I can, I can probably, yeah, see, I can stick my thumb inside of this. So when it comes to picking slabs, I did not pick these slabs. The customer picked these two slabs out based on the recommendation from the uh, place that he that he got the slabs. So just you just have to be mindful of things like that. I really don't want to make this like a full how-to and explanation, but I think that people need to understand there's quite a bit of work that goes into it, but. The payoff is look, this is what it started out as right here, right here, all this, it all started out like that. And man, look at how it comes alive. So got a little knot here with an inclusion. We'll fill that up with some epoxy. We've got some bug holes and stuff like that out on these ends. So this was gonna be the leading edge, but like pieces like this, I'm gonna have to grind down, which kind of sucks because it's such a point. But now here, because this is a solid piece, I'll just come in here and clean off the knots so nobody wrecks their elbow on it. But I mean, that this thing's gonna look absolutely stunning once we're done. I'll fill in all of these uh, bug holes and everything and the cracks, I'll fill that all in with a, some, some epoxy. Probably just black just to kind of mask it. And then we're just gonna put a really high shine finish on it. I, I'm not a big fan of doing a full epoxy coat on the uh, on these live edge bars. I like to do more of a traditional finish. And then you know, just, there's a little bit of upkeep to them, but I mean, look at that. I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Here goes nothing.
All right, it is epoxy time. We're gonna try this upstart epoxy, see how it goes. Um, yeah. I've got an idea of what I'm gonna do for some of this, but the cracks at the end and the cracks in the front, I'm not real sure yet. I'm gonna mix up a small batch, start getting all of the big holes and stuff like that filled up. And then some of it we're gonna make black. So on all the light stuff, I don't think doing black is gonna look right. I think that it's gonna be too much. So we're just gonna go ahead and do clear. And yeah, we uh, hopefully we'll get this thing all rocking and rolling and it'll be done and ready. Does not tell you how long to mix for, it just says to mix it until it's consistent. It's pretty consistent. I've scraped the sides, scraped the bottom really well. I think we're pretty good. I didn't really weigh it out, I don't really care. I want this to be like jet black. <clears throat> Mm-hmm.